contemporary rounded shape featuring a heavy blunt graduated nape, an eyelash skimming curved fringe and a subtly reverse layered interior, the classic halo balance reimagined. Prior to commencing the cut, Gareth conducts a thorough assessment of the hair's characteristics. Gareth starts the haircut in the back by dividing the hair vertically and then horizontally, cutting a square line at that point. Parallel sections follow, with all of the hair being drawn down onto the same point. Notice how the length is maintained behind the ear. This is key to the overall shape. Above the round of the head, the sections pivot to enable the cutting line to work into slightly more length through the front. Notice how the hair is over-directed back to produce more graduation in the line and an element of swing towards the face. Gareth works up to the top of this area, which has been divided at the round of the head, just above the temple. Gareth now repeats this technique on the second side. Once again, length is left behind the ear and the hair is over-directed back. To remove weight from the top, Gareth takes a horizontal section and lifting the hair straight up, cuts a line from short to long at the desired length. Notice how the length is maintained through the back. This is key to the balance of the shape. To maintain the integrity of the edge, subsequent sections are now over-directed up onto the first.
Once complete, Gareth refines this area further by working vertically to slightly reduce the angle and flatten the shape. Subsequent sections are over-directed to the front so that the length and waist is maintained through the back. Once again, Gareth will repeat this technique through the second side. Gareth now refines the edge and then graduates the line, removing slightly more weight to produce a beveled finish. He then repeats this technique on the second side in the same manner. Gareth establishes the length of the fringe by taking a curved section around the face. Over directing the hair forward, he cuts a square line that maintains length through each side. This is key to the curved nature of the look. Gareth now lifts the hair up and removes weight from the line. This is an integral part of the reverse layering process. The next section is taken parallel and is combed forward and cut at the same length. This is the second step of the reverse layered process. Notice that to produce a graduated edge, this section is lifted slightly higher than the first. Once again, Gareth continues the reverse layer technique by removing the corner from this second section.
Gareth now repeats this technique with a third section. To complete the interior shape, Gareth layers the crown area as shown, at a longer length than the surrounding sections. Here, Gareth illustrates the silhouette of the reverse layering technique. Once the hair has been dried, Gareth uses freehand techniques to refine the whole shape, with particular emphasis on the sections that stem from the crown area and trail over the outline. Here, Carla illustrates the sectioning pattern for the technique a large curved zigzag section that divides the head into two as shown. Carlo begins the technique by outlining the section with the lightest colour. Using a classic tint application, Carla applies a combination of 50 grams of 10 stroke zero pastel blonde, 25 grams of 9 stroke 16 light ash violet blonde, and 75 grams of 4% Weloxon Perfect. Carla combs the hair to ensure a clean and even colour result. Carla has previously lightened the hair with a combination of blonde ore powder and 6% Weloxon Perfect. Carla now moves to the front section and continues in the same manner as before. Carla completes this side by working through the top. Notice how the sections are directed away from the opposite side.
Notice how Carla uses gentle brush strokes when working near the opposite section. For the next section, Carla uses a combination of 30 grams of 9 stroke 0, very light blonde, 10 grams of 7 stroke 7, medium brunette blonde, 5 grams of 0 stroke 3 3, gold special mix, and 45 grams of 4% Reloxon Perfect. Notice how gentle brush strokes are used on the hairline to minimise any colour staining. Carla now moves to the top of the head, once again taking the sections across the head to keep the two colours completely separate. Carla now allows the hair to process according to manufacturer's instructions. The result is a graphic ruffled shape with a softly diffused texture, a combination of innovative technique and creativity that produces a new version of the classic halo balance. <laughs>